another breast augmentation procedure is fat grafting. So I've been hearing this term. So can you tell us how that works and what it is? So uh, there are physicians that promote the use of fat grafting completely for breast augmentation. Mm -hmm. It's still not very popular. There are some physicians in Miami who do that. I don't do it as for breast augmentation. Okay. Uh, I do a lot of fat grafting for breast reconstruction. So basically what you're doing is you liposuction some fat from your body, somewhere in your body, mm -hmm. you process the fat, and then you inject the fat in small aliquots so it can uh, be inserted in places where you have blood flow because as a graft, the fat needs to survive. Right. So when you put in the fat inside tracks that you create, that there are vessels that, that will nourish the graft and survive. If not, the fat is going to die. So okay. you, it's not that you can just put the fat. Right, you're just not filling the breast yeah. with fat. So you have to do layers. Sometimes you can do so much for the first time mm -hmm. to get a small augmentation, and then you have to come back for a different procedure and put some more fat. It's not that you can go oh, from an A cup to a C cup right. or a D cup on one time because it's very hard for the fat to survive. So you have to do sometimes multiple procedures. Right. If it's not a lot, you might be able to do it in one time, but if not, you have to do multiple procedures. So you say this is very common for reconstruction. Yes. And, and and obviously not so much, at least in your office. In reconstruction, for more than anything for when you do a reconstruction and you have some defects like in the upper pole of the breast, you see a dent or something. Right. So you can put some fat because it's not a huge amount. To smooth. To smooth the shape. Mm -hmm. Or if you have some irregularities, you can do that also to put the fat to, to fill in some spaces that need to get a more rounded natural shape. Okay.